Hi everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation and I just wanted to share with you my latest junk journal that I made using products from Your Creative Studio. I did a video a couple videos ago, did an unboxing on the products in the number 10 book box and I really enjoyed playing with this. So let me go through this. It'll be a quick video. It is a one signature junk journal, but what I ended up doing was making um what some folks call a master board or a collage board or like a patchwork paper board. I don't know, um, you know, I, I usually call it patchwork um, paper, but anyway, I did a collage uh, cover on this and I'm gonna put a picture in right now to show you what the two pieces that I did look like. So I used 12 by 12 uh, pieces of cardstock and then I used elements uh, of the papers in the box and I used stamps and I used these beautiful uh, stickers that are the spines of books. Did all kinds of stuff to kind of do a, a collage on here. So I have front and back and then what I did after I made the 12 by 12 paper, I cut it at nine inches tall by 12 and folded it in half. So this journal is six inches wide by nine inches tall. And then um, on the spine here, when we open it up, I can show you that. Um, on the spine, I have some book binding fabric that I just reinforced it with. Uh, so I did put that on there. And then you can see I did a pamphlet stitch through that uh, to secure my one signature. I wrapped a ribbon around here with one of the paper clips or a paper clip that I had decorated a while ago and it was in my stash and I thought that's just a pretty simple beautiful title for this book. So this is my wonderful junk journal. <laughs> So you can see I have, you know, stamps and all kinds of stuff. So I love the way that this looked. I did use some of the stickers on here. On the back, there's a book sticker there. Another stamp here. Just love the, love the imagery of this particular package. It's really pretty. So that's just a simple closure. It's just going to tie with a bow. And let me show you what the inside looks like. So after I, oh, and I just wanted to share with you also that on the inside of my, um, pages that I created. I used ledger paper from a book that, or you know, a ledger um, notebook that I got from Goodwill. And I just did some patchwork pieces with that too. So that's what the inside um, or the opposite side of the 12 by 12 paper was um, lined with. And then I used some of the pieces that I cut apart from both of the papers and I made different elements for the book. So like on the front cover and the back cover here, I just cut some pieces and made pockets. So that worked out really, really well. And I get to see, you know, the papers as well, which is really, I just think these are beautiful and I love the way that this looks. So I'm gonna be using this technique a little bit more often. Um, filled the pocket with just some stuff from my stash. So I have some, all of the papers I coffee dyed so I had some library book cards, which is perfect, a tag, a guest check, and then just a piece of regular filler paper, um, actually from a composition book that I tore apart and I um, dyed those papers. So I use those in my journal. I also have some grocery sacks that I did. Now this was a sticky note that I just glued onto the page with one of the stamps. And when you turn the page, I added some lace trim that I had just in, um, I have a bucket of pieces after I do a project, I throw all the things in there and then I use those to kind of do odds and ends for the journal. So everything except for this piece here was from my like little bucket of odds and ends. Um, I used a piece of the collaged paper to create a pocket here. And then in here I have um, one of these invoice um, pages that I copy dyed and this is the, the carbon copy piece, it's yellow um, normally, and then of course I coffee dyed it, so I, I like the way that that looks. All of the copy paper I coffee dyed, and then I edge punched them, so it kind of gives it another little lace look there. I did leave some pages blank, because you do want to have journaling spaces, that's kind of the whole point of this, right? Over here, I have a couple envelopes that I did 
coffee died. And then I, what I did was I just kind of, um, you can't really see it, but the flap of the envelope is glued onto this page. And then I put a doily over top of that to just kind of camouflage that. So then you can do things on top of this. And then the envelope opens up and I have three of these in my book. And then I just added a little um, note page that I coffee dyed in there. So you have a secret journaling spot, but then you also have a flap. Okay, so another page. Um, I did do little paper clips here. These are Tim Holtz paper clips. I put some little odds and ends bits on the top. So you have a little fluff at the top. Another one of the sticky notes that I went ahead and glued on. I love library cards. I just think it's really pretty. Some of the collage paper that I made, I ended up making hidden paper clips. So on this side, I left it open underneath. There's, you can add things to it as you go. On this side here, I added a um, tag that I had made in my stash. And I just put a little bit of ribbon on that and secured that there. These are some pages from the box. Um, and I just glued those onto the page. I just thought that was really pretty. So then you can do some stuff over top of that. Um, here I had a little paper bag that was really gusseted and I don't know, I don't remember where I got it, but I kept it because I thought it would be a really great thing. And I used a piece of the paper. I cut it out and I put it on top of the paper bag and then I punched a circle. And then from my stash, I had uh, made some ephemera out of some uh, scrap paper papers that I had, excuse me. And I don't even know what paper collection this came from. I think die cuts from a view, but I have no idea. But I just decided to use those in that. And then I glued it on two sides so that you could put another tag underneath. Another edge punch page, another sticky note. And then on here is one of these vellum pieces that I put on the page give it a pop of color, and then I added pom-pom trim. Another blank page. I took some of the stickers that were book spines and I stacked them like they were a shelf with a book. So I thought that was a pretty way to decorate that page. And then I know you can you can probably see this. I had a lace doily on top of here when I was coffee dyeing. So I got that image there. Blank, another paper clip with a little piece of twine this time. Um, blank. Here's one of those doily sides and then you have the envelope side and on this one I did put a stamp here and again it opens up. It has the same type of paper in here but you have another flap there. So this page here I had this nice strip so I decided to make a belly band and in the belly band I have another library card. Um, I used a piece of the collage paper that I made and then I put some more ledger paper inside so you have kind of a journaling spot there and then I had these books. They're um, time card books that I have torn apart and used in my junk journaling. And I used some of the washi tape from the box and I helped reinforce the spine because it was sewn all the way down. So I wanted to kind of reinforce that so it wouldn't rip. And then just made a little booklet out of that and stuffed that in here. On this page, I added some lace trim but left most of it blank so you can have some journaling spots. Here's another paper from the box that I just glued on and then you can do things over top of it, collage or whatever. Here's another pocket that I created. I added a bit of lace trim at the bottom and then another one of the invoice slips. And again, more of the paper with the doily on it. I like that. And I do like, I do like the grocery sacks too. I think they're, they're actually, they're a little thinner than grocery sacks. So they're probably from a craft store or something. They're very thin, but, um, there you go. Stack of books here and another blank page, blank page. Here's another envelope page. Oh, I got some of my little bits from my, my, uh, punching <laughs> in my book. And again, another of the same note pages in there. And I left it so that I can really add to it as well. Another library card here. Um, another bit with a little bitty paper clip and some trim. This I had in my stash and I thought it would be kind of cute. I thought it fit the theme and it just opens up and it's just a little booklet with a few pages. So you can have like a little secret journaling here. I thought that was kind of fun to add to it. Another little bit of something in there. Another bit of trim. I added um, more of the um, vellum paper here. Another uh, hidden paper clip that I made with the collage paper that I had created. And I put a stamp on that one. This one I left blank. And then over here, um, I used um, a bit of the paper that I had created with the stuff from the box. And then 
used one of the calendar papers that I like to add um, to my journals. So that folds up really nice and then sticks under there like that. All right, another paper from the box. Um, this is again the books kit from your creative studio. I'll leave a link below and then the last page here. And again, I um, this is the other side of that page, obviously. I have the ledger paper back here that I used, made a pocket here with some of the papers that I collaged from the papers in the kit. And then I added just some, some various papers in the pocket. So that's my book and it's pretty full. I like it. I love, I really like making kind of like, I don't know if you want to call it like a one subject journal or whatever, but this journal here, um, you know, you could use this for like a month. So like if I wanted to um, use this for like the month of January and this could be like my January journal and then uh, go on from there. So I like doing the one signature books. They're, they're I think my favorites. They're quick to make, they're really easy and um you know don't take a lot of time but then you know you can fill it up fairly quickly and then you know make another journal so <laughs> i do like that part too so that's that's my journal i hope you like it um i hope you like all of the different you know flavors of papers that this um you know box has it's really great so again um look in my description and you'll see the video to the unboxing that I did so you can see all of the papers go to your creative studio check it out um, I really like the products and I love the different things that you can do with them and I had not done any kind of like master board or collage board or anything like that with them yet so I thought that was really fun and I am definitely going to be doing that again all right so thanks for watching this is my wonderful junk journal and um, thanks for watching I will be back again soon with some more tutorials all right, have a crafty day. Bye-bye.